Good evening, Des Moines. Welcome to the Doc and Lefty program here on webcast1live.com. Coming to you from the burned building at Jason Studios, webcast1live.com. Too soon? I don't think so. Smell the smoke. It's just, it's really, at that. we'll talk about that here in a second, folks, but it really is a shame because it happened uh, shortly oh. after... It just, just well, you, you know what we're talking about for, from the area. Anyway, I'm Lefty um, of Doc and Lefty Program, and with me as always, he's about to announce his renunciation of the, uh, the uh, conservative wing of the Republican Party and join me on the socialist communistic left, Dr. Patrick Petroche. Doc? Well, you know, we've had this conversation many times before, Blake, where, you know, we talk and we talk, and you really are a closet conservative. You, we, oh, we're going to go that we, direction. We, we get to talk, and you're going to be joining me over here on the, the on the on the wing. I thought you were going to play along and say April Fools, but apparently, uh, well, you know, I haven't done April. You know why I can't do April Fools? Because I'm a psychiatrist. People take me too seriously. Yeah, that's that's a good point. So rats. That's, that's rats. a good point. I uh, I I I April fooled one of my clients. I said he was getting out of jail today. <laughs> that, that's not true. That's not true. But it is germane to our, our guests we have in the studio yep. um, from uh, from Restore to Vote dot com. The, at least the organization that he started. Tom Criswell is with us today. Tom, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Good. And we've got a couple of guests that you said, or at least one guest says is going to call in here. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens Scott with uh, you know with World War Fighting Championships. He is the um, he is oh a, a note from our. From our super media guru, yes, Jen. We need to come up with a different name for. Her. Well, she doesn't like the names that we picked so far. But so, so how you been? Anyway, What'd you do this last week? Uh, you know, I sat around and went up and visited my dad, who yeah. hasn't been doing well, but apparently he's doing better now. And so that was a good trip. And um, I watched all kinds of craziness happen over in in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. uh, thousands of people streaming out of Crimea. Uh, thousands. Uh, the picture is really pretty, uh, pretty astonishing. Um, of course, you know, you, from inside Crimea, you don't get a lot of pictures. It's just outside in this little town called Henesheska. You see all these people coming through. Um, watched uh, some of the the Obama spin on Obamacare. Uh, I'm just going to say, you know, if it's really 48 million people, you only have another seven years before they all get signed up. So, you know, they're, they're either going to be penalizing these people that don't have insurance or they're going to have to keep pushing back the deadline time after time. And it's really turning out to be the disaster that everybody thinks it is. And, you know, that's just, you know, that's what I was watching. That's what I was doing this weekend. So what did you do? I uh, I didn't do any of that, but <laughs> um, I... Uh, I, I, I was I was sort of shocked and dismayed to hear about the... Uh, the 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 Yonkers building's demise here in the, in the, over the over the weekend. It's right next door to us. Uh, so my uh, my off color tasteless joke at the beginning of the show was in reference to I, that. I thought, I thought it was pretty. Have you seen it? It's it's it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's it's awful. Well, you know, and you knew this because you're from the area. And, and Tom, are you from Des Moines? Yes, I am. You, so you knew this too. I didn't know that. Not being from Des Moines originally, I didn't know that that this Yonkers building was the first Yonkers building in the country. I don't know if you guys knew that, but it was the number one first Yonkers store anywhere in the United States. It was also the first department store anywhere in the United States to have an escalator. Now, those are two facts that Iowans think are very, very interesting that maybe your folks around the country and around the world don't think are as interesting. But for me, a, a guy that lo that just really gets really bummed out when historical things sort of pass away or are destroyed by just oh, yeah. random acts of chance, it really was a shame. And well, so... And it's, re it's really a strange thing because... You know, there's Bob Knapp, who just got found yesterday uh, yeah. in a burned-out car. And, you know, he was arrested and served, was supposed to serve 40, 40 months in jail, something like that, yep. uh, for trying to hide all the asbestos. And, of course, you know, back then, all these buildings were practically made of asbestos. So it's hideously expensive to get rid of. You have to yep. have certain hazmat materials. You have to wear – and, you know, you stop and you think, well, hold on. You know, this guy just got out of jail. He stole a car. Went and set himself on fire somewhere. That's what it looks like here, and and you're like, how how does that happen? I mean, to me, in conspiracy theories, you know, you don't just if you're Bob Knapp, you don't go out, steal a car, and then just go kill kill yourself. Or are you or, suggesting or, that the two are linked? Because well, if he was know, doing, see, if he was trying to run an insurance scam, it really is a shame that he offed himself. Well, you know, I think what happened is he was trying to do that before, and, you know, maybe somebody saw it wrong. I don't know. Mm. I mean, that's really weird. I mean, Mac thinks he was kidnapped, mm. you know, if you saw mm. Mac's blog or his posts. 
And then here you go. I mean, not, I mean, two days after the Yonkers building catches fire, he's gone. And, you know, of course, Yonkers building's filled with asbestos too. Yeah. So you, you wonder, you know, what, what happened? I mean, it takes a lot to set asbestos on fire. You know, it, well, so, that's the whole point. Yeah, that's the whole point. So, you know, <laughs> it's like, wow, how did all that burn? You know, yep, that's so, my understanding. They had a bunch of natural gas lines, one inch lines going into the place on. Well, well that's, that's just why it crazy. got so hot. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's uh, just nuts. Yeah, well, those those old buildings. Well, uh, Pat, we're going to probably just start off with uh, with our, our good buddy Tom here because we'll wait for and maybe a uh, cut to your. To the, about, yeah, to the, to the fights when they when, yeah. when they when they jump in, but anyway, sure. so Tom Criswell is here. He now, Tom, I I, I gotta say, I got I enjoy you on Facebook. You and I aren't Facebook friends. Um, <laughs> no, through no fault of your own, I just don't do a whole lot of Facebook stuff to the chagrin of my partner and to our uh, social media marketing expert. But they just it's hard. It's like pulling teeth with me. But anyway, I like to see you and uh, you and Doc go back and forth all the time, at least probably two three times a week. And, uh, and so I know you to be a good, uh, liberal Joe and, uh, um, and, uh, and a voice for, uh, you know, freedom, democracy, and tolerance here in the, in, uh, in the United States, but you're here promoting your organization, uh, restore to vote. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what it is? Well, first of all, it's, it's not my organization. It's I, not was, your, okay. uh, I was actually recruited to become involved with it. Uh, uh, a woman by the name of Tamara Wismiller Harris had actually, uh, uh, instigated and, and saw the need, uh, the actual desperate need for uh, a, an organization like this to take place, uh, the loopholes that it takes for a, uh, a returned felon or a returned citizen to society after they've completed the um, just crippling fines that are uh, usually instituted when mm -hmm. they uh, commit a crime, plus the time they served, and then the supervision, um, supervision that they have to go through after they're out, it's, uh, it's just uh, a lot of them throw up their hands at the process. Um, when Vilsack was governor and through Culver, it was automatically restored. Once you'd paid your fines, you were off supervision, you'd return to mm -hmm. society. And uh, you don't get off supervision unless you've made a, an example for yourself or, and for others that you deserve to be uh, back to be a citizen. Uh, those used to be automatically restored. And now it's a convoluted process that even... Uh, even the governor's office advises you hire a lawyer to do lest you get thrown out for some not dotting an I or crossing a T. And then some of the costs that uh, you have to take on to provide the documents needed to mail to the governor uh, can be pretty hefty too. Yeah, well, you know, uh, Tom, I guess what I find interesting about, about uh, this particular issue is, uh, being a, a criminal defense lawyer myself is that, you have you have a number of guys, as you said, who are um, on paper, as I like to say, and you know they're they're paroled or they're on probation or whatever it happens to be. But usually, a condition of probate of, of successful completion of probation or successful completion of parole is the repayment of any restitution that's been ordered. And I know that's the sticking point in the legislature legislature right now is this restitution issue. So where where do you stand on that? Isn't didn't they didn't they already have to pay restitution under the Vilsack and and Colbert they, administrations? They actually had to pay their restitution and pay all their fines and complete the full sentence that was um, they were you know mm -hmm. were supposed to serve. And usually that in, includes several years of parole after release. Um, just to give you an idea, um, I was released in 2008. Mm -hmm. um, I could have, had I been able to pay off my fines, uh, been discharged in 2009, early 2010. Um, I was actually got my fines paid off and was discharged last October of 2013. Right. Um, there's, I had several thousand dollars of fines, and that's not uncommon in the system. Um, it, it certainly is not. They didn't suspend any of that for you? Because well, if well, you were, we're, oh, we're going to take a quick break right here. Uh, staying tuned. You're listening to Doc and Lefty on webcast1live.com. We're sitting here with Tom, uh, uh, it's not Tom Vilsack. No, it's Tom, Tom Criswell. Tom Criswell. <laughs> Holy smokes. You know, like he said Vil yeah. Vilsack earlier. He, he wouldn't stuck like in my head, you know. <laughs> and, uh, uh, with Restored to Vote and uh, General Liberal uh, Agitator. Uh, we'll be back after the break with that. Uh, you're listening to webcast1live.com and Doc and Lefty. Patrician Associates, how can I help you? 
Petroche and Associates will provide you with a friendly, caring, and confidential place to find help for mental health concerns. We are ready for your call. Our doctor, Dr. J. Patrick Petroche, provides a full range of psychiatric services for children, adolescents, and adults in a forthright and informative manner while maintaining a casual, comfortable, and relaxed atmosphere. All across America, there are countless numbers of people struggling with addiction and other life-controlling issues. Probably someone you know and love. There is a way out. There is hope. Transformations Treatment Center in Delray Beach, Florida has a unique approach to substance abuse treatment. Call now and ask about our guaranteed success program or log on to transformationstreatment.com. Transformations. Change your life. Change your relationships. Transform your world. From the Remax Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is Lefty with Doc and Lefty here coming every single Tuesday. That's once a week for all those folks that don't know the days of the week. From 6.30 to 7.30 p.m., we're here with our guest in the studio, Tom Criswell, who is uh, a member of the organization Restore to Vote. Um, now, before the break, Tom, you intimated that you were part of the, the Iowa Department of Corrections penal system as a guest, I would assume. Um, so what, uh, what, is, what was the... And if you don't if you don't feel comfortable talking about it, but I know like, what were some of the the challenges that you faced given the kind of charge that you had? Okay, I was uh, convicted of several drug offenses, and um, I was sentenced to uh, thirty years with a mandatory one third in mm-hmm. two thousand four. And uh, as I went through the system, uh, kind of pulled my head out and woke up a little bit, and started committing myself to being an uh, an active example uh, for the other guys in the prison and then uh once i got out i felt i owed things i'd taken away from society by helping to put back in mm-hmm. um so one of the reasons you've mentioned me on facebook and uh me and doc going at it two or three times a week um part of that is because uh i was being becoming active in the only way that was available to me at that time and so and so are there uh you able to, we, oh. we have a phone call we have a phone call oh, all right goodness. oh my god everybody scramble for a headphone we're always we're always pl- uh, very pleased to hear from people on the uh, on the line here but it's always kind of a shock to us because we're not really uh oh i don't know we have the same five people usually call in and, and most of the time they're busy well, with living on, their we're, lives. We're, i'm excited to have anybody call in absolutely you know? so call you're on the air hello 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 who's this Hey, this is T. Scott from the WWFC World War Fighting Championships. How you doing there? Hey, we're not Dr. doing we're Trump. not doing too bad. Are you? Hey, I, I'm just 